We're now going to do an example of integration in cylindrical coordinates. So our problem is to integrate x squared with respect to volume over the region E, which is inside the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1, above the plane z equals 0, and below the surface z squared equals 4x squared plus y squared. So let's first draw a sketch of this region. So here are the axes. Now, the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1 is you just take the unit circle and draw vertical lines through every point. So that's, that's x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now, do you remember what surface z squared equals 4x squared plus 4y squared is? Well, that's a cone because all of the terms are quadratic. Uh, so the upper half of the cone looks like this. And there's also a lower half of the cone, but that's not going to be relevant for this problem because we only want to look at things above the plane z equals 0. So this is um, z squared equals 4x squared plus 4y squared the upper half. And you can see the plane z equals 0. That's the xy plane. That's the bottom of this picture. So what we want is the region which is above this disk, which is this disk x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1 in the xy plane and below this cone. All right. So that's our region E. So it's in here. Now, if we want to set up this integral in Cartesian coordinates, well, we, let's see. So x can go from what to what? Well, we're in the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1. So that means that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1 in our region. So the minimum value of x is minus 1. The maximum value is 1. And y, for a given x, can go from minus the square root of 1 minus x squared to plus square root of 1 minus x squared. And then for a given x and y, well, z always starts at 0, and the highest z gets is given by z on this cone. So that would be the square root of 4x squared plus 4y squared. And then x squared dz dy dx. So you can do this integral. It will work. But it's got a bunch of square roots, and it's sort of not very pretty. So this will be a lot prettier if we use cylindrical coordinates. So in uh, cylindrical coordinates, well, so this bottom surface is, is z equals 0, as before. And the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1, I can just write as r equals 1. And what about the cone? Well, this says that z squared equals 4r squared. And since I only care about the upper half of the cone, the upper half is where z equals 2r. Let's just cross that out. It's the upper half of the cone is where z equals 2r. The lower half of the cone would be z equals minus 2r. Okay, so our bounding, bounding surfaces are z equals 2r, r equals 1, and z equals 0. And now the polar integral looks like this. I'm sorry, cylindrical. So um, theta can be anything from 0 to 2 pi. Well, of course, theta can be anything in the whole real line, but I just want to cover each possible um, point in the disk once. So I just want theta to go from 0 to 2 pi. And r can go from 0 to 1. So the fact that we're in the cylinder r equals 1 means the maximum value of r is 1. And then for a given r and theta, what's the range of z? Well, z starts at 0 and goes up to 2r. OK. So now our limits of integration, at least, look a lot nicer. Now I have to put in x squared. And I want to do everything in cylindrical. So I need to convert that to r squared 
cosine squared theta. And then I need the magnification factor, which is another r. And then, um, sorry, then this is dz, dr, d theta. Right? So let's do the z integral first. So integral from 0 to 2 pi, integral from 0 to 1. So we're integrating over z, and the integrand is a constant because we're thinking of r and theta being fixed here. So I just have to multiply by the upper limit by the lower limit minus the lower limit. So I multiply by 2r, and I get 2r to the fourth cosine squared theta dr d theta. Okay, and now I need to do the r integral. So the integral of r to the fourth from 0 to 1 is r to the fifth over, over 5. So this is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 2 fifths times cosine squared theta d theta. And now to integrate this, I need to remember the identity that um, cosine squared theta is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. So when I integrate this, I get 2 fifths times um, theta over 2 plus sine 2 theta over 4 evaluated at 2 pi and 0. And the sine 2 theta term is going to give me nothing because that's the same when theta equals 2 pi and when theta equals 0. So I just have the theta over 2 term. I can cross out these 2's here. So I have theta over 5 evaluated at 2 pi and 0. So that just gives me 2 pi over 5. So we could also do this in Cartesian, but this is considerably easier in cylindrical.